Opposition to Mayor Freddie O'Connell's Choose How You Move Transit Project is appearing on yard signs around Davidson County with the phrase, Vote No Transit Tax. A group has organized against the Nashville Mayor's Transit Plan, and voters will decide this issue in November. If approved, Nashville sales tax would increase to pay for improvements like expanded bus service. News 2's Caitlin Quisenberry examines both sides of the argument. Bottom line is we don't want extra taxes. A Davidson County group called the Committee to Stop an Unfair Tax is showing opposition to the mayor's transit plan by handing out over 500 yard signs. Yard signs are just a, uh, a, a great tool for uh, allowing people who maybe aren't necessarily using social media or going to community meetings to express their their concerns. We don't want the you know uh, uh, another tax you know another tax increase. The half cent sales tax increase would pay for Mayor Freddie O'Connell's transit plan, costing 3.1 billion dollars. According to the mayor's office, the typical Nashville family would pay about 70 dollars more a year. The the core of this plan is laying a foundation for Nashville to have a transportation system that makes sense for the city. We've fallen behind. This lays the foundation to enable us to catch up. The group against the transit tax says the plan is unsafe, unfair, and unnecessary, citing concerns over affordability, previous crimes on public transit, and the argument that it would not help with traffic congestion. Sit down and think about how much you spend on groceries and how much you spend on, you know, other incidentals and 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 tell me that it's only an average only $70 a year. The plan includes sidewalk construction, smart traffic signals, and 24-hour bus service. If you are someone that's just going to mainly drive your own car, you're going to really benefit from the improved signals. The deputy communications director for the Nashville mayor says this plan would also mean the possibility of adding more street lighting and a police force for WeGo Transit. But it's something Nashville resident Yvonne says she would not use and cannot afford. I doubt that I'll ever ride the bus with everything rising like it is. I just don't think, I think that we need other, other things need to come before public transportation. The committee hopes through yard signs like Yvonne's, people ask more questions. Maybe I shouldn't just go, oh, it doesn't look that bad, uh, uh, and, and vote for it. Voters will make the final decision in November. We go officials say if voters approve the plan, riders will see an increase in bus service and frequency almost immediately. Haley. Thank you, Caitlin.